Good afternoon everyone, this is James the Local Viking, and in this video, we're going to go over an advanced variation of doing a phone audit. So, what you're going to need for this audit is the website you wish to work on, you're going to need a program called Yep, and I can give a link in the description below to this program. You're also going to need a program called ConvertCSV.com forward slash phone dash extractor dot HTM. I will also leave a link in the description below for this. And the goal of this audit is to see what phone numbers exist on your website and just trying to see where they link out on the web and if they really should be there or not. So let's start with the basic audit first. You know, what phone numbers do you see on your website? So right away we see a 1-800 number. Cool. If we scroll down, we see, looks like their Houston local number. Okay. They have a New York number as well as a Los Angeles number. Great. If we go to the contact information, let's see if there's any other numbers that are unique. Uh, they got a fax number. I mean, fax numbers, you know, aren't really that big of a deal because they're not phone numbers. You know, if they're on the web and they're not supposed to be, it's not the end of the world. But if you have wrong phone numbers on the web, that's much bigger of a deal because Google might start creating associations that really shouldn't be there. All right, let's see. Is there any other phone numbers that we see? Nope, that's still the toll-free number. Eh, maybe about us. Okay. I don't see any other phone numbers. So now, what a basic auto phone numbers would entail is you're taking each one of these numbers and you're going to Google dork them. So all that means is you go to yep.com. Well, this address. And once again, I'll have this in the link in the description below. And you press Google Fi. So it's going to give you a whole string of variations of this phone number. And what you do is you take this phone number and you can do a Google search on it. And ideally, you would want anything that comes back to point to your entity. If it's pointing to anything but your entity, that's a problem. I mean, if it points to a attorney listing that works at your entity, that's still okay. It's a little bit of a gray area because you really should have unique numbers for your attorney listings as well as your um, unique offices, but it's not the worst thing in the world. If this phone number was found on, say, uh, bobslawfirm.com when you're Lana Law Firm that's a huge problem and should be fixed really quickly so it looks like this phone number is fine looks like it all points to our listings I'm not going to go too deeper but you can go as deep as you like in, in a normal auto I'll go as deep until I hit like full on phone directories so here we're still not hitting phone directories they might be on page 7 now we're starting to hit phone directories and I'll stop there and you just rinse and repeat this process so I'll go through take each number and Google dork it just make sure that they all point to the entity it should point to or once again at the very least a lawyer that works at an entity I'm going to do one more just to, to show you the process. So we go to Yep, Google Fi it, take that number, do a search. Oops. Do a search here. Make sure all the entities, make sure the phone number is pointing to the correct entities or at the very least a practitioner that works at the entity. I'm not going to do the rest of these numbers. It's just a rinse and repeat of that process for um, any number that you see on the website. That is essentially a basic audit. Now, a more advanced audit that you want to take is taking the URL 
of the website. It's the home page will do. And go to convertcsv.com forward slash phone extractor. And I just like using option two, where you take the URL of your website, you click load URL. And what it's doing is it's going to scan through all the potential numbers that it found on your website. So now if I take this list, and then I would just go through and strip out anything that's not a phone number so these are all coordinates maybe it's code so these these are the phone numbers that are left from convert csv.com from there I'd go okay which ones are known phone numbers now I don't actually know this website so I don't know the phone numbers off the top of my head so what I would do is, okay, you know, this is the same phone number here. So we don't care about it. In fact, we could just delete it. Uh, this is also a number up there. I can delete it. I can delete this number because that ties out to one of our offices. All these 3216, that's our toll-free number. Great. But now we have to start asking ourselves, what about the rest of these phone numbers? So this is, once again, our toll-free number. Cool. So we don't have any more. We don't have any 888 numbers. We don't have any 863 numbers. We don't have any 877, 866, 863. This is our toll free number again 888-877-866 so where are what are these numbers and why are they on our website i mean these could be possibly old numbers from old vendors maybe your site went through a revamp you know why are they there maybe it's something a whole uh a former marketing company did and maybe they forgot to remove it maybe it ties out to former marketing companies the point is if you then start taking these phone numbers and Google dorking them, what would it pull up? Now let's just do one and see what it pulls up. So this actually does point to our website, but it's pointing to an old number. Oh, it's actually on their website. Uh, 1866. So is that a tracking number? I'm just going to refresh the page real quick. So there's 1866 here. 1800 there. Okay. So there's another number we didn't account for. So this 2333 number is another number on their website. Not sure why they have that there, but that's that is their number, so that is fine. Um so that's fine. This number can just be moved up. The two three 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 appear anywhere else? So yes, this that appears there. Okay, are there any other numbers? Let's try another one. Where does this five one two five number tie out to? Okay, so this one ties out to. Five one two five. Okay, so it actually looks like, and once again, I don't actually know the website. So this is this is a really good audit to be showing everyone. So it looks like these phone numbers, or at least five one two five, could very well be their attorney number. Let's just go back and do. 2333 again. Just to see if that was an attorney page. So while not an attorney page, it looks like they have unique numbers for 
potentially different uh, types of litigation, different sections of their company. Okay. So we just go through each number and see if it makes sense. That's the whole goal of this audit, to see if the phone number that we're finding makes sense. Or does it point to something it really shouldn't be pointing to? All right, so this is probably going to be another attorney number, which is on their website. Uh, where is it? 7838. So I actually don't see... I actually don't see this number on their website as far as a front facing number. Hmm. So it could very well be a, a old phone number that's just in Google's uh, cache and Richard E. Meadow got a different number. So the process would be to go through all these phone numbers, take each one, put them to uh, yep.com, this website here, Google Dork it, and you can manually Google Dork it too. You don't have to use the program. You can just manually parse this out and do a Google search on it, see where it ties back to. Because... I'm not going to do the rest of these phone numbers, but there could be a phone number here that ties out to a competitor, maybe an old attorney that you don't want it to tie out to anymore, or it can just be a completely dead number. Last few tips. Uh, when using Yep, if you're going to use this exact program, or when you Google dork in general, if you're going to do phone number searches on Google, be sure that you're in incognito mode and be sure that you're using a VPN. If you are not doing these, just as a disclaimer, if you're not doing these over time, you're going to end up getting your IP banned because Google is going to see your actions of searching phone numbers as spammy activity. So definitely use a VPN, definitely be in incognito mode when Google dorking phone numbers. All right, that concludes our video. See you in your next one. Bye.